fractions, adding different denominators that are mixed. We are going to add mixed fractions with different denominators. We see here the problem 9 and 2 sevenths plus 7 and 7 tenths. So we need to find a common denominator for the 7 and the 10. But we can first add the 9 and the 7. So let's write that in. And we already know that equals 16. So now let's figure out the common denominator. So what we have to do is multiply them by each other. So we do 7 times 10 and 10 times the 7. It's very easy to remember. So we know that those both equal 70 because 7 times 10 is 70 and 10 times 7 is 70. So there we have it, our common denominator is 70. But since we multiplied these on the bottom, we must multiply them at the top as well. So 2 times 10 and 7 times the 7. So 2 times 10 equals 20 and 7 times 7 equals 49. So now we need to add these all up. So what does it equal to? Well we already know the common denominator is 70 and we keep that the same. So 70 right here and now let's add the 9 and the 7 together which we already know is 16 and now we must add the 20 plus the 49. So what does that equal? Yes, 69. Very good. All right, let's move on to another problem. We see here now 10 and 5 eighths plus 2 and 2 thirds. So we need a common denominator, right? but we can first get the 10 plus the 2 out of the way. It's nice to get the easy things done. So now let's find the common, common denominator. So 8 times 3 and 3 times 8. So those both equal 24. So 24 is our common denominator. So we can fill those in right here. All right, since we multiplied on the bottom, we must multiply on the top. So five times three and two times the eight. So five times three is 15 and two times eight is 16. So now let's add these up. All right, we already know the denominator is 24. So we can fill that in first. So 24, and we know the 10 plus the 2 equals 12, and now we just have to add the 15 and the 16, which equals 31. But now the 31 is bigger than 24, so, and we know that 24 over 24 equals 1. So now we need to subtract. 31 from the 24 to find the denominator. So we add the 1 to the 12 to equal 13. And now let's find 31 minus 24 is 7. And we keep the original denominator, denominator of 24. So the answer is 13 and 7 24 All right, now we have 6 and 2 ninths plus 1 and 4 eighths. So we already know that 6 plus 1 is 7, but now we need a common denominator. So 8 times 9 and 9 times 8. So what does this equal? Good, 72. So 72 is our common denominator. All right, but remember if we multiply down here, we need to multiply on the top too. So eight times two and nine times four. So two times eight is 16. 
and 4 times 9 is 36. So now we have to add. So remember, the 72 stays the same. We add the 6 plus the 1, which is 7. And now the 16 plus the 36. And that equals 52. But we can reduce the 52 and the 72. So we're not quite finished yet. So now we can divide the 52 by 4 as well as the 72 by 4 to make the number smaller. Alright, so now we have 7 and the denominator would be 13 and then the denominator is 18. Alright, so our answer is 7 and 13 eighteenths. Great work with mixed fractions and the best of luck solving your next.